Enerfuel is a water dispersing agent. It's called an organic surfactant. It's considered a biodegradable fuel additive. It works on what's called hydrogen polar bonding, which we're going to explain briefly. We start off using water finding paste. This is a paste that is normally used for checking storage tanks for water. It starts out a brown color. If it finds water, it turns red to show you that water is present. We are starting off with 50% water in each jar. In this sample, we will be adding Enerfuel additive. There has actually been a chemical reaction taking place in this sample. It would take about an hour for this to completely mix on its own. However, with a few seconds of agitation, you can completely mix the sample. This has now gone through a permanent chemical change. It is no longer chemically water. It will not freeze at 32 degrees, bacteria and fungi cannot grow in it, and it will no longer corrode metal. Later on, we will show how this will combine with the hydrocarbon chain of the fuel and will become a burnable part of the fuel. In this sample, we're adding a naphtha based product. Naphtha and water do not mix. If you put them into a storage tank or a vehicle tank, they will separate out. If you agitate them, they will temporarily mix together, forming an emulsion or an encapsulation. We call that encapsulating the water. You actually create drops of naphtha and in the center of each one is a little droplet of water. In older engines, this technology was used to get water out of the older fuel systems. In older engines where you have mechanical injection, this would allow the water to pass through the system relatively harmlessly. Today with newer high pressure injection systems, you have very tight tolerances, some injector tips as small as 2 microns. When you have droplets of water that size, this can actually cause injector tips to be damaged or break off. On this sample, we'll use our water finding paste to test for the presence of water. When the encapsulated bubbles are broken apart, we will see that water is still present in the sample. In this sample, we have added a mineral oil based product. Mineral oil is used as an additive primarily to add lubricity to fuel. Again, it does not like water and will stay separate from it. If you agitate this sample, it comes apart right away. It separates back out to mineral oil and water. To prove this, we use our water finding paste. When you break down through the oil layer, you will see that 100% water is at the bottom of the sample. 